Your brother says to, he says what? To be happy. Very good. My joy brings other people joy. Very good. Anything else you say? I don't know. I guess this could probably be one of the best experiences I could ever have. I could imagine if I my older brother pass uh, to be able to connect with him. Is there anyone else that you know besides your brother that has passed? Some friends or anything like that? Yes. And uh, actually, they're probably there. If you just go ahead and look around, you could probably have a brief chat before we get out of here with any of them. Do you see any of them? Yes. Oh, very good. Who do you see first? My grandmother. Oh, very good. Go on over to her and give her that big old hug. Your abuelita. How's she doing? Great. How does she look? Healthy. Oh my goodness, good. What is she saying? I know. She's good. I'm glad I'm doing well. Oh, very good. So she watched you uh, graduate school, huh? Yes. So was she there the whole yes, time? Yes, she was there. Awesome, awesome. Was she helping you get, make sure you stayed on track? Yes. Very good. She kept me from quitting. Yes. Very good. Very good. What else is she saying? She wants me to tell my mom. Very good. So should she ask her, should you share this uh, video that you're making with your mom? Is she ready? Yes. She says her mom, would your mom be ready for that? Yes. Very good. Very good. And tell your mom what in particular? That it's okay to let her go. And how long ago has she passed? Or did your, your ability to pass? A year. Ah, oh, okay. And your mom is still grieving? Yes. And so, any, tell her if she could tell her something that only those two know. I mean, it's, you know, she knows how stubborn or she knows how, oh, she knows the state that your mom is in. Something that could really help her. You know what I mean? And when she hears this video and she hears it, it'll just, you know. She said, thank you for taking care of her all those years. Oh, beautiful. She knew she could count on you. Wonderful. I can almost hear what, is she still talking? Yes. What else is she saying? To take care of my mom. For you to take care of your mom. Because once she's gone, I won't get her back. Very good. Until you join them on the other side as well. Yes. Is it beautiful there? Yes. Ask her, can she just step aside and just show you where she's where she and your brother, can you see heaven? Can you see it? Yes. And what does it look like? There's clouds. I see a lot of happy people. It's like a celebration. Awesome. 
Do they are they acknowledging you? Yes. They see that you're looking in their way. Yes. Are they telling you you can do it and it's gonna be okay? Yes. Uh, what else are they saying? Listen to them. They're speaking to your heart. Help others while they hurt. So doing things like this, uh, uh, quantum healing hypnotherapy and letting other people see this, this probably helps a lot of people, huh? Yes. And can you see, can you feel the light? Is there a lot of light there? Yes, there is. What does the light look like? It's bright, but not... Hurting your eyes. Yes. Like, can you feel it? Yes, I can. Man, let it bathe you. Can you see a source of that light? Yeah. Where is it at? It's almost like at on top above everyone. Oh wow. Ask it can it send you its love, its vibration? Just make a mental note. Are you focused on it? Yes. Is it coming? Yes. How does it feel? Deep breath. There you go. Let it all slow. There you go. And another deep breath. Take in more. Take in more. It takes a lot. Big, big, big. How does that feel? Let it go slow. Let it cleanse you. Let it awaken you. What does that vibration say to you? a lot huh yeah hard to put it into words huh yeah but you have it though don't you yes very good you're gonna use that for the rest of your life you know that right yes what is it what do you feel like right now how do you feel right now amazing and is your uh, abuelita holding your hand yes and your brother's standing there with his hand on your shoulder? Yes. Very good. And you still see the company of heaven there? Yes. They're sending their love to this planet, aren't they? Yes, they are. And you're a conduit for that, isn't it, aren't you? Yes. It hit, All their love hits you, and as you walk, and as you talk to people, and you be your loving self, it beams onto them, doesn't it? Yes. And so now you absolutely know what your purpose is, huh? Yes. No more questions, huh? No. Now, is the best way for you to connect with everything that you see with that? Is that Prime Creator? Was that God you just saw? Yes. He's still there, isn't he? Yes. He's always there, isn't he? Yes. And you and him are one and the same, aren't you? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. What do they think about Hank? Hank is good. Sent for understanding. For to I, help understand. To help others understand. Others, yes. Um, his interpretation is it good? Yes. Is it? Uh, he is a conduit for sure. Yes. Hank is the key. What key would that be? For everything. The key that unlocks the ascension gate? Yes. Is Hank have to a raise to an even higher vibration? Yes, he must. He must you may say it raise his vibration and 
what will that do when, in terms of him being a key? Begin the ascension process. Are there many keys? Yes. And Hank is just one of those keys? Yes. Very good. And no key is more important than any other key? They are all the same. Very good. Is Tony one of those keys? Yes. Very good. Is Jody one of those yes. keys? Yes. Is Megan one of those keys? Yes. Do you think at one point they will do a quantum healing hypnosis therapy session with either myself or Tony? Yes. With Hank or with a Tony? Hank. Very good. Very good. And you foresee yourself doing quantum healing hypnosis therapy sessions with others? Yes. Is this a, a is can we make a living doing this type of thing? Yes. Very good. And could they answer any political questions while we have their attention? No. Very good. Very, very good. Should we not focus on those type of things and just focus on love? Yes. Because they're not that important at all. If we focus there on that, we give it energy, don't we? Yes. So it's not like having burying your head in the sand. It's more like burying your head in the clouds of love. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. This ascension process on the planet, uh, we are always looking for linear time frames. And um, is there a time frame when some of the first people will shift? Yes. Could you? Uh, could you? When will? Can you say when? I speak? Yes. I was told uh, by a Matt Khan that in October of 2015, or maybe it's September, I know you know the time and the date, he said that the first wave of ascension uh, ascenders will uh, come into full consciousness in 2015. Um, I felt like I was one of those people who's going to pop here pretty soon or ascend really quickly it keeps being told to me uh, is that accurate yes and what is the actual date in 2015 if you don't mind I mean they say more towards the end of 2015 so December during the solstice 21st? 23rd. 23rd. December 23rd of 2015. The first wave of ascenders will shift into the fifth dimension? Yes. And about what what amount of the population of the earth will that be? A small portion. Very good. Will Hank be one of them? Yes. So will Hank and Tony still be experiencing uh, things together in the third dimension or will Hank have shifted and uh, Tony is yet to shift? Yes. And will they still be in the same experience? Will they be experiencing each other? Yes. Okay. Will Hank have a glow about him at that point? Yes. Will all of the people who a shift to this uh, next that next level of vibration that's here in the third dimension have a glow about themselves? Yes. Will that cause any uproar or anything with the other part of the population? Yes. Will that possibly put us in jeopardy or will we be protected with our full consciousness? It's... I see a lot of doubt from others. 
Oh, very good. So in terms of, and but not so much um, retaliation or anything like that. No. They say if our, our very vibration shifts to false consciousness, that uh, the vibration is very high and uh, anything dark wouldn't even perceive us. Is that true? True. So we would not have to worry about anyone or anything. Um, and our lives would probably be the fairy tales that we know that everyone will soon exist or yes. uh, experience. Now those are my adjectives. Do is are you getting the same thing from them on that side? Yes. Very good. There are they so are they agreeing with me? Yes. Oh, very good. I like to try and spell it out as much as I can. Do you foresee Tony and Hank coming together? I mean we live really close and having more of these sessions? Yes. Would it be in our best interest to start to get questions from um, people and uh, or and you know if they start just having questions about whatever and we could come together like this and answer people's questions and help with this ascension process yes and um, just, I mean uh, it would it how do you feel? <laughs> we're asking, that's like we're asking permission, but we're more like uh, asking because of other people's perceptions. And I know we're the ones who are making our universe and what we think and what we believe or what have you. But, you know, we're still very much here with all these other people and uh, our desire is to be what's in the best interest for everyone. But uh, making money off of it, could this actually sustain our lives as a profession? Yes. With that, okay, and does anything in terms of anyone who does that type of business, how does the company of heaven feel about that? Making money from it or sustaining their lives from spreading, I would say, truths or the bigger picture anyway. I know truth is individual. They say... In order to survive, uh, uh -huh. we're gonna have to wake up and get these concepts down, huh? Yes. Understood. That was, ooh, that was, <laughs> that was. How'd that make you feel when you heard that? It. I don't know. It moved me. It's like being waking up. Like God, uh, if y'all don't pull your heads out, y'all behind. Uh, I can foresee some people experiencing the way of Atlantis. Is that a probability for any soul? Yes. But that first wave will be out and by the end of this year, what about the next wave? They need to prepare. But most won't. And at one point, though, those that have shifted to say before the majority or what have you, you know, of within, you know, the next hundred years or what have you, um, they're still here and their signature will still be felt in this third dimension, correct? Yes. And by them shifting and that's, is that sort of like being in the world, but not of it? Yes. And, um. Do you, hmm. how influential will Tony be uh, in the future? Very. Very. And lots of people will seek his counsel? Yes. So is his mission starting to become clear to him now? Yes. Very good. And uh, now, Let's see. Well, let's drift away from that scene. Let's drift away from that scene. I guess we don't have to do the dying process or anything like that because uh, we've already uh, t 
took a couple breaths from God and looked at the company of heaven, your Abuelita's there, your brother's there, but you're going to drift away from that scene. Drift away from that scene, leaving everyone there to go on with their lives, go on with their purpose, go on with their existence. We'll catch up with them later. We know it's there, and it's amazing to have been able to make a stop by, and we look forward to coming back. But now they're going to continue on their journey, and you're going to continue on your journey, and you will find peace, and you'll find what you're supposed to find. We're leaving them to continue on their own path. Now I want all the consciousness and personality of Tony to once again return to the body and fully integrate back into the body. May I speak to Tony subconscious, please? Yes. I have permission to speak to Tony's subconscious? Yes. I respect the power of the subconscious because I know the subconscious takes care of Tony's body and does a very good job of it. I also know that the subconscious has the records of everything that has ever happened to Tony in this lifetime and all the other lifetimes he has ever had, li ever lived. So I respect the power of the subconscious and I always ask for permission to speak to it and ask questions. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. I know the subconscious could have brought forth many different lifetimes for Tony to see today. But you chose to bring forward the life where he was an extraterrestrial, I would say, living on another planet with the white skin and the three fingers and the big eyes and the sharp teeth. Why did you show him that particular life? So he could understand purpose. And how would he be shown a uh, purpose witnessing that life? Through you. Uh, very good. So as I ask those particular questions to really give him an idea of what he was experiencing, was I, uh, was it, did I do it properly? Yes. Very good. Very good. And so, basically, he now sees that he's more than what he ever thought that he was, huh? Yes. Okay. And uh, also, you gave him a glimpse of the 1800s. Uh, and he's only been on the planet two times, according to what he, we uncovered. Uh, what was the focus of that life? first life he said he was a protector but uh, what was the how would you describe what your purpose was for sending him into that scenario to help the ones that couldn't help themselves so who was he helping there in that in that lifetime The people, the community, a person in particular? People with less than he had. So, uh, did he, uh, was he a wealthy figure or? Yes. Was he a, a celebrity? He was a king. Ah, uh, he was a king. And over which, uh, a king in the 1800s, which, which, which kingdom? It was French. Ah, he was a French king. Awesome. And so he did help a lot of people then, huh? Yes. There, that France has a lot, a lot of history. Um, out of curiosity, could you tell us what the name of that particular prince or king uh, in the 1800s was that uh, Tony incarnated as? 
he wanted to know about a past life and you showed him one and uh, and a lot and it was amazing and interesting but uh, we didn't get much from this one but it's fascinating to find out he's a king and I know I ramble I'm sorry uh, the name of the king The purpose of, of us knowing with such incredible things that have said thus far and to then to claim that he was a king in the French kingdom, uh, being able to look up that king to see if the name was accurate would be really huge in terms of the people that are going to hear this uh, and plus me just saying this. We are patient. Is it possible to answer? No. Uh, so. There's no record of his people. Ah, oh, very good. So this was probably the original kingdom that was there. Were there people, were there other monarchies that uh, took over? Yes. And his uh, probably family's crest had fallen in the melee? Yes. We were attacked, wiped out. Ah, uh, interesting. Interesting. And what is the name of the conquerors? It was a tribe. Understood. Fascinating. And so now, this life, what's the purpose, his purpose in this life, coming from his higher, his, his subconscious, what is his purpose and mission on this planet? That was his, one of his questions. To bring joy and happiness and understanding. Awesome. To bring joy, happiness, and understanding. And uh, what is the best way that he would be able to achieve that? Through knowledge. Through the sharing of knowledge? Yes. Through the sharing of knowledge, that will help him to. Is there any other things that you'd like to relay to uh, Tony in this moment of now? You know what he had a desire to know when he originally wrote his questions and everything. and. Uh, I just want to make sure that he really gets out of this session what he truly desired and what's in his best interest. He knows all he needs to know. Awesome. And I would ask you if you could scan his body with light right now and uh, heal and cleanse and infuse him. I know he's gotten a couple of breaths. Well, he's gotten all his breaths from God, but uh, he actually had a real time experience of it for a hot minute there uh, and probably still experiencing it now. So I pray. Can you scan his body, please? Is there is. Are you doing so? Yes. And while you're scanning him, can you answer uh, some more questions, please? Yes. Okay. 
is Tony involved with any extraterrestrials besides Hank on this planet now? No. Um, uh, Hank and uh, Tony live in the same neighborhood. There seems to be lots of extraterrestrial ships in the Houston area. Is that our imagination or are they really out there? Yes. Yes, they're really out there? They're really here. And is Hank involved with those extraterrestrials? Yes. And how is he involved with them? What is he doing? Ma is making people understand. Very good. Is he a bit aggressive at it? At times. What's your advice? It's is it in my nature to be that way? Yes, that's that's the way you were made. Am I the ENFJ personality? Yes. So aggressively helping people to feel and be better to know to be able to feel and be better and know better about themselves and be better within themselves. Yes. Oh, I found that out a while back, but I really started uh, looking that up yesterday, and I was because I always feel like I'm so aggressive. Uh, I, you know, this is a free session that we're doing here, and you know, everyone is getting sort of used to me being able to ask questions at the end. You knew I want, I had a desire to ask some questions. Did yes. you? Yes. And do you mind answering any of my questions? That would be fine. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I'm still interested with the extraterrestrials. You say that, I mean, everyone is saying it, and I'm really happy to hear it. And I, you know, I used to feel like I was being abducted when I was much younger, and uh, now I feel like it's something bigger than that that I'm actually connected with them and working with them. Am I working with them? Yes. And um, in what capacity am I working with them? In terms of, uh, do I ever have physical interactions with them? That's my first one. Do I ever have physical interactions with the extraterrestrials over the planet now? No. Ah, oh, very good. So my body has never been, has, has never been on a ship or anything? No. So have I had a spiritual, uh, energetic connection with them then? That's what I'm... Yes, your mind. Okay, so I've been able to, say, bilocate. Yes. And, and am I by locating to the ships? Yes. Am I a part of any of the councils or anything? Yes. They appointed you. When did they appoint me? Long time ago. And I've been appointed to? Raise the vibrations. I, uh, my friend Nate, uh, he is, is he on that council as well? Yes. Um, and so is, he's having extraterrestrial, uh, experiences as well, energetically or spiritually? Yes. And so how often are we actually, so is this happening in our dream state? Yes. And so how often are we on these councils or having these interactions? Very often. Almost nightly? Yes. And um, have they ever come and visited me in my physical and done anything to my body before? They visited you, but didn't do nothing. Okay, so there was a time that I was in um, Florida and I was doing the show Brigadoon and I woke up in the middle of the night and I was on my stomach and I know someone was there and it felt like my back was split open and what was that? They were examining your spine. Okay, so that means, and you say they, who was they? The... The I, ones who sent you. Okay, and is this an extraterrestrial race? 
Yes. Okay. So they did have an actual physical. And my spine, what were they doing? Making sure you weren't hurt. So were they, uh, and if they'll answer, oh, well, you know, yeah, were they raising my vibration? Were they reinforcing my kundalini or my chakras? Yes. That's what they were doing? Yes. And uh, obviously it was successful? Yes. Oh, very good. Um, so the councils, could you call or name any of the particular council that I'm on that I was appointed to by? No. Just, but I'm on a council though. Yes, what and I get, there's a whole bunch that appointed you. But I can't understand the name. Uh, are they vibrations or yes? They sound like words, but you can't get them out. It's ask them if they were to interpret them in in the English language, just for the sake of the video. No, they won't, or they can't. So when you say a bunch of people, a bunch of entities appointed me? Yes. Okay. And are, are they still scanning your body or is that complete? It's complete. And how are you, how, how is your physical standing? Is there anything you need to be concerned with or they, have they healed everything? Everything is good. Very, very good. And, um, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to bring him out of this and, um, <coughs> we can come again and talk about the extraterrestrials later. Yes. Very good. Uh, we thank you very much for coming forward, um, and speaking and giving, uh, Tony, this incredible information information now I'm asking the subconscious to recede where it belongs which much love and thanks for the help and information that has been given Tony and today